All right, we want to create a drawing of this. Let's save it off. Make a new drawing. Once I'm in the uh, the drawing, the SolidWorks Drawing View palette actually looks at the part and determines, hey, it's a sheet metal part. Creates a flat pattern that we can bring onto the drawing. What it actually did behind the scenes is it created a flat pattern configuration for me within the part file, and that's what it's using for this view. Uh, I've got mine set up so that it automatically shows the um, bend note information on all the bend lines. Uh, there's some options there. You can have it uh, also show, you know, your 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 punch tools and stuff like that. Um, we can even make those different colors if we want. Makes it look a little bit better. Uh, the other thing is, and this is a really good example because my bend lines are so close together, the notes kind of climb up on top of each other. It might be kind of hard to determine what. Uh, what bend line there that the note is referring to. So a new option that we have is instead of putting the notes as this information sitting on the bend lines, we can say, well, let's create a bend table instead. Let's go ahead and select this. And your bend table, like all SOLIDWORKS tables, uh, are going to use a, um, a table template so you can customize that table to make it look the way you prefer it to look. Go ahead and just create this, place it on my drawing. And it's replaced all those notate all the all those notes on there with the detailed bend information with just letters, little tags. And so you can see the tags here, and then it gives you the information about that bend line over here in the table. And even then, when you want to spread these out, you can you can easily do things like you know grab these notes and maybe you just want to make some leaders off of them and uh, maybe pull them out here a bit so we can see exactly what they're pointing to, and then. Uh, you know, begin spreading some of these out if you needed to. Clear, clean, clear up um, what that's actually trying to tag. Okay. The other thing we uh, we have new is adding a punch table. Uh, we want to define the locations of the punches, right? So we have some form tools that we used on here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and um, it's going to give me the location, so I have to tell it where it's going to measure this from. So I'll say, okay, use use that direction as my x-axis, that as my y, so we can have a reference here as to where we're measuring the locations of these from. And then we'll go ahead and create that punch table and put it up here. So now each of these punch locations has a tag and the corresponding information about the punch ID, which my library part should have a punch ID on it, its location, and angle. Okay. So a couple new table types. As far as um, you know, dimensioning the flat, it's just a matter of standard dimensioning here. Not a whole lot of new stuff. It's just like any other uh, SolidWorks design at this point.